folks and welcome to my video on how to fix your treadmill. In this video we're going to be going to just another level of detail and we're going to be looking at things inside the motor hood cover. So we need to take the cover off and you'll need a screwdriver Phillips number two. If you like this video content please subscribe, follow the links below on our website you'll find all kinds of information and you can go to our online video library and enroll where there's all kinds of content there so if this doesn't hit the spot chances are there's something there that might well do. So let's get cracking. Phillips number two at the ready, follow me. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is switch the power off and remove the mains cord. It's really important you remove the mains cord because we're going to be taking this cover off and inside here there's live mains which is dangerous. So take the cord out of the way. Then you need a Phillips number two screwdriver and just release the screws here around the edge of the case. Now your machine might be slightly different to mine, but let me just explain where those screws are. You'll probably find them along the back face like here, and also down the edges, across there and across there. And if you have access difficulty, just try folding the machine up, uh, because that can sometimes allow you a better access, perhaps around the other side, just to either release the screws or take the screws out completely. And when you do, you'll be able to lift the cover off, just like that. Okay, so the first thing to do is to find where the power comes in, which is obviously the mains input socket, which is here. Now you need to find where the live and the neutral wires go. On my machine, they're red and black, and they go from the back of the socket, they go to a breaker, and they go to the on-off switch, and then they go through to the filter, which is here. You don't need to remember the names of all these components, just check the connections of the wires. So literally follow the live and the neutral. Make sure they're visually, they look like they're on in the right place and that you haven't got any connectors which are dropped off and if necessary give the connector a little bit of a pull and a waggle to make sure that it's not loose and burning. Then from the other side of the filter you get the red and the black just the same. One of the wires will go through to this component here which happens to be a choke and it goes through the choke and onto your circuit board and the black goes directly to your circuit board and follow them through and you can see where they go here and here and again if necessary give them a little Pull with your fingers, make sure they're nice and tight, and if they are, then you know all your wiring's good. It's just one more thing to check, which is the fuse, which is here on the main circuit board. And with the fuse, you need to check to see that the fuse is intact. And it's quite easy to do because it's a glass fuse, and normally when the fuse fails, it fails in quite a catastrophic way, and it's quite easy to tell because the glass will be frosted, or the fuse wire itself will be vaporized, and uh, you'll be able to see it with the naked eye. And that's it. Those are the most basic things you can check yourself. Okay, so in this video we've been dealing with problems on treadmills where there's no power, but of course that's just one failure mode. There's lots of failure modes and we've got other videos that deal with other failure modes. So, don't forget, subscribe to our channel, visit our website, enroll in our video library, there's lots of free content there. I'll see you next time.